In this video, we're going to talk about point-slope form, a particular form of a linear equation. A linear equation can be written in standard form, you could write it in slope-intercept form, or you could write it in point-slope form. The formula for linear equation in point-slope form is this, y minus y1 is equal to m minus x1. So let's talk about how to use it. So let's say we have a graph. Let's call that the x-axis. This is the y-axis. And we have a linear equation that looks like this. Now let's just say, just to keep things simple, that this point is at 2 comma 5. x is 2, y is 5. And let's say this line has a slope of 3. With this information, you can write a linear equation in point-slope form. Our x1 value is 2, and our y1 value is 5. So we can replace y1 with 5, m, the slope is 3, and we can replace x1 with 2. So this is our linear equation in point-slope form. All we need to write it is the slope and a point, which is what we have here. Now let's work on this example problem. Identify the slope in at least one point, I forgot the word one, in the following linear equations. So in the first one, we have the equation in point slope form. y minus 2 is equal to 3 times x minus 4. What is the slope and what is the point? So let's go back to our original equation. The slope is whatever number we see here. So in this case, that's a 3. So we could say m is equal to 3. Now, in order to find the point, we need to identify the x1 and the y1 values. So notice that you have a negative sign here. So what you got to do is take away the negative sign to get x1 and y1. So in this case, x1 is the opposite of negative 4. So you take that number, multiply by negative 1, you get positive 4. Or if you remove the negative sign, you still get positive 4. y1 is going to be positive 2. So even though you see a negative 4 here, change it to positive 4. Even though you see a negative 2 here, reverse it to positive 2. So now we have the slope and the point given the linear equation in point-slope form. Now let's move on to number two. We can easily see what the slope is. The slope is going to be the number that is right there. So that is negative four. And now we need at least one point. Let's put P for point. Now what's X1 and Y1 for number two? So X1 we see a 5 in its position, but we need to change it and make it negative 5. And for y1, we see a positive 3, so we got to change it and make it negative 3. So this particular equation has a slope of positive, I mean negative 4, and it passes through the point negative 5, negative 3. So that's how we can read it. Now let's move on to number three. We have a slope of negative two over three. The rise is negative two, the run is three. Now this particular line passes through the point. So we see a positive four here, we're gonna change it to negative four. And for the y value, we see a plus eight, we're gonna make it negative eight. So this line has a slope of negative two over three and it passes through the point negative 4, negative 8. So that's how you can identify the slope in at least one point if you're given a linear equation in point-slope form. For the next problem, what we're going to do is we're going to write a linear equation in point-slope form with the following characteristics. So for part A, we have a line that has a slope of negative 2, and this line passes through the point negative 4, 5. 
So we got to write the equation. So we have our x1 and our y1 values. So let's start by writing the equation in point slope form. So all we need to do is replace y1 with positive 5, m with negative 2, and x1 with negative 4. So this becomes y minus 5 is equal to negative 2. Now we have two negative signs. Negative times negative 4 is positive 4. So our answer in point slope form is this. y minus 5 is equal to negative 2 times x plus 4. Now let's move on to part B. A line that passes through the points 2, 6 and 5, negative 3. Let's call this x1, y1, and then the other point, x2, y2. Now, what we don't have in this problem is the slope. But we could find the slope since we're given the two points. And we could use this formula. m is equal to y2 over y1, I mean y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is negative 3 minus y1, which is positive 6. x2 is 5 minus x1 which is 2. So negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9. 5 minus 2 is 3. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So we have a slope of negative 3. Now I'm going to use the point 2, 6 as the x1, y1 point. So now we have everything that we need to write the linear equation in point slope form. So we're going to replace y1 with 6, m with negative 3, and x1 with 2. And this gives us our answer. y minus 6 equals negative 3 times x minus 2. So that's how you can write a linear equation in point-slope form if you have a slope and a point, or if you're given two points. Now the next thing that we need to talk about is how to graph a linear equation in point-slope form. How can we graph it? Well, first, we need to identify the slope and a point. So we can already see what the slope is going to be. It's this number out in front. So our m value is 3 over 4. That's a rise of positive 3, a run of 4. Now, the point that the line passes through, we can see what it is. So we see a negative 1 for x. We're going to change it and make it positive 1. Here we see a plus 2 next to y. We're going to change it and make it a negative 2. So our x1 value is 1. Our y1 value is negative 2. So now that we have a point and a slope, we have everything that we need to graph this linear equation. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, let's add some points to this line. My graph is not going to be perfect, but at least you'll be familiar with the process of how to graph linear equations in point slope form. So let's begin by plotting this point. So it's at 1, negative 2. So each mark has a value of 1. So that's 1, negative 2. Let's put a negative 2 here. Now, to get the second point, we can start from the first point and use the slope to get the next point. So I'm going to rise by 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then I'm going to run to the right by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to take me to the next point which is right there. So another way you can see this, the rise affects the y value. So I'm going to add 3 to the y value. The run affects the x value. So I'm going to add 4 to the x value. And that's going to give me the second point, which is going to be at 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So it's 5, 1, which we can see that's the case here. And then we can just draw a line to connect the two points. 
So that's a simple way of how you can graph a linear equation if you're given the equation in point slope form. Step one, identify the point and a slope. Step two, plot the point. Step three, use the slope to get the second point. Step four, draw a line connecting the two points. And then you'll have your answer. Now there's one more topic we need to talk about. And that is the derivation of this equation. Where does it come from? How can we derive it? Well, let's start with a line. The old fashioned line. And let's pick two points on this line. Let's say this point and this point. Now the first point, we're going to say it has the coordinates x1, y1. Now the second point, it's x2, y2. But we're going to change that. For the second point, we're going to just call it x, y, some generic x and y variable. But just know that it's the same as x2, y2. It's the second point. We we'll just got rid of the subscripts. Now this line has a slope m. And what is the equation that helps us to find the slope given two points on a line? We know that equation is m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But now keep in mind though, x is our x2 value and y is our y2 value. So we can replace y2 with y and we can replace x2 with x based on the way we've defined it. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to multiply both sides by the denominator of the fraction. And so by doing that, we can cross out that and we're left with x minus x1 times m. I'm just going to put the m in the front is equal to y minus y1. Now the left side is equal to the right side. So we could just simply reverse the two sides. And then it's just going to give us a more familiar version of this equation. So that's how you could derive the point slope formula. It really comes from this equation.